this trip I felt as though for the first time I actually started to kind of get the feel for tossing a fly. It's addicting. You really have to use all of your senses. It's like being a chef in a kitchen. You have to smell, taste, hear, oven noises, everything going on. You have to be fully keen. And when you fly fish, you have to be fully keen. So it's, it's developing your, your senses. But as you're doing that, you're, you're connecting yourself more closely with everything that's going on around you. And it's just, it's like therapy. It really is. It's beautiful. Come on, stop. So that thing has got so much play to it. You can feel every movement of the fish. You know, it's just, it's, it's outstanding. Because you can feel every movement of the fish, again, you're a, a one more step closer and tighter to everything that goes on in this ecosystem. And it's just, uh, the battle is fun. You just release them, you give them a kiss, you take a picture and you let it go. Beautiful. So once in a while, you know, you have to, you, might, you have to have lunch, you know. <laughs> you never get fish that fresh. Chum salmon, you want to eat that as quickly as you possibly can. Well, here you go, folks. You know, it's right here. It's straight out of the water. It doesn't get any fresher than that. So I got to fillet it, you know, so chum salmon into, onto the grill. Painted it with a little sauce I put together, you know. I had plum jelly in it and soy and, and red miso and garlic and, and a little sriracha. Wow, that's good. That's pretty tasty. Nicely that's done, old. Rick. Yeah, yeah like Rick, it's just yeah, fantastic. Rick, I said, this right here is the answer to no pebble mine. Because this is 100% best nutrition. The best fats, the best protein, it tastes amazing. This would be such a bummer if we didn't have this. Mm. This part of Alaska, Bristol Bay, is amazing. It's um, probably one of the most pristine areas I've ever visited in my life. And it perplexes me to think that something as destructive as digging for ore mining is a discussion which would historically pollute and degrade this perfect environment. And in a matter of just to be 10 short years of mining could just completely flip this place upside down. And we know it's one of the last places on earth that still produces an enormous amount of natural food for ourselves and the entire ecosystem. So it makes no sense to me. How it can even be a discussion? This is absolutely stunning. You pull a salmon out of the river, <clears throat> fillet it, riverside, throw it over some wood that's burning is like, it's priceless. Mm -hmm.